Hey y'all, all Euclid Mining. Today we're gonna to be doing a wrap up for the grow tent and I wanna show you what we've ended up with and go over a couple of the configurations real quick. But hopefully if you've watched my other videos, you know about most of them. Um, right now, these cards are running at 66 to 67 for my one trouble card. You know that one card I've talked about, uh, always running hot. Now it's running 66, 67, and the other cards are running anywhere from, you know, two, three, four degrees cooler uh, than it. So there it is there. That's my 67. Um, like I said, sometimes it drops to 66. So let me just tell you what I got inside here. I've got four cards right here. I've got a two RX 480s. I've got one RX uh, 570 and one RX 580 right here. Over on the other side, I've got five uh, RTX 3060 Ti LHR and one uh, 3060, uh, I'm sorry, RTX 3060 LHR, not Ti. So that's a total of six cards here, four cards here. When I started off, I had uh, just the Ravencoin ones in there, the Ravencoin Miner, and I think I only had four or five cards on it at the time, four cards when I first started. Uh, maybe I just put the fifth one on and I was going about 68 degrees uh, uh, temperature on those cards. And that was with the one six inch. I tried the eight inch fan that I had and I put that actually first on there and that didn't matter. Six inch, eight inch, both on max, didn't matter. Still the same temperature. I took the six inch, I put it over here, pulling air in, thinking if I brought more cool air in, that might help. That didn't matter. Um, I put the eight inch fan on this side and the six inch on this side, didn't matter. Uh, they're both, they're all the fans that I have are a variable speed. As you can see, they all have the knob. So um, what I did was I tested them with different speeds. And then again, six inch here, eight inch here, eight inch here, six inch here, different speeds, high, low, low, high, everything in between, didn't matter. Didn't matter, didn't matter, didn't matter. Took the fan out of here and just left the vents open. Didn't matter. 68 degrees every time, no matter what. Couldn't figure it out how to get this cooler. Tried to go with positive pressure in here where it blew up like a balloon, where I sucked in more air than I was pulling out in hopes that some of that air would mix and grab some of that cool air, would have more time to grab the hot air and pull it out. So my AC tech was telling me I should try. That didn't matter. Um, you know, I tried everything. And in the end, what worked was two six inch fans on this side, both pulling out open vents and um, passageway here, this other um, uh, exhaust for a pipe uh, open as well. And I run 66, 67, and that's on that one trouble card. That's with both rigs. At first, when I just had the one rig, that was one thing. But as soon as I put the second rig in there, I immediately jumped up to 72, 73, 74. Um, I think my problem card hit 75 at one point and I was freaking out, shut it all down, opened it all up and let it exhaust. It was like a plume of heat that came out of there. So um, it didn't work with one fan, whether it was six or eight. The eight inch fan, I will say is super loud. And to have two eight inch fans in here would be optimal, except it is too loud with even one. Two six inch fans is quieter than one eight inch fan. How about that? And the six inch fans are sustaining what I need. Now, maybe if I had two eight inch fans in here, I might drop that down another temperature or even two, two degrees, I'm sorry. Uh, and that would be awesome, but the noise would be well out of control. And for my environment, my setting, um, you can see the room that I'm in. You know, this is the exercising uh, mining room, uh, chamber <clears throat> room. And, you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, this is just how it is. Now, I was going to have this over on this side of the room standing up. But standing up, it would block that window. And the powers that be said, no dice. Uh, can't block that entire window. That would be, you know, miserable in this room. So the next option was to you know, lie it down. Now I'm sure you've seen lots of videos of people standing them upright, doing it the correct way. I'm probably the only one on YouTube that's doing them sideways. <laughs> and that's only because of this ridiculous room. Um, but here I am. So I'm gonna open this up real quick. I just wanted to you know, say that 
no matter what, in the end, this is the configuration. Open, 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 exhaust, exhaust, six inch, six inch. I have them on about 80% speed. Um, if I'm not up here or I'm at work or we're all out of here for the day, I'll turn it up to 100% and um, it'll even drop one more degree and it'll be constant at that 66. But if I leave it around 80%, I live around 67 degrees and I can live with that, especially on that one problem card. The other cards um, do really well. So it's really only fighting that one card. I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna show you what we got. So as you can see down here, uh, we've got one, two, three, and four. I've got two 750 watt power supplies over here. One, two, three, four, five of uh, the RX, I'm sorry, uh, 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 RTX 3060 Ti LHR. And then the one card is the uh, 3060, uh, the RTX 3060 LHR. Um, I've got two 750 watt power supplies in here. I just bought two 1200 watt power supplies so I can really fill the last spots up in here and feel comfortable with that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna come around the side and I'm gonna put the uh, camera down inside so you can see what I got going on here. So you can see this fan here is pulling straight out this fan, just because of the way it's configured, um, it just pulls straight up. So again, that's just because the way that this sits. You know, here's another thing. The less bends you have in the exhaust, the better off you are. And the shorter distance that you have, obviously the better off you are. Um, I've thought about getting the uh, fitted pipe for the, uh, the corners. Uh, for here where it bends to get the uh, the actual metal piece that bends and then connect this onto it So it's a nice smooth bend same thing on the other side here where it comes out where it bends sideways I thought about getting one for over there as well and making that nice and smooth with that turn um, on this one So getting one for there to have it turn real smooth and then I thought about two here one for here one for here and that way in my bends, I know that they are as open for airflow as possible because that's the name of the game here, right? So again, you know, yeah, that's like 10 bucks for each of those. That's another 40 bucks that I'm gonna toss at this thing. But at that point, I will be guaranteed for the best airflow because you don't know if any uh, crink, uh, kinks in the, in the hose, you know, could be stopping even 5% of the airflow. And if that kink is 5%, and maybe I lose a couple percent here and a couple percent there, next thing you know, I'm, I'm losing, you know, 25% of total airflow or even 10% even of total airflow is, is what you're not trying to do. You're trying to have 100%. So I think it's overkill, yes. Um, but I know that I have peace of mind knowing that it's the best it could be. Um, but this is what I got now. I have thought about moving this one directly onto the bottom shelf, right there, moving that shelf down, and then that way the air will be sucked right off of it. Um, I thought that if I put it on the, uh, the bottom shelf, the air would get right up and out, and that might be really good. Uh, that might help drop some temperatures in here also, just because of the heat from this has to cross all the way across to here. So I, I've been debating on moving that over. It's going to be a little project to do that because I have to kind of disassemble the pipe and then uh, take the shelves off and move it. So I haven't gotten there yet, but that's about the only other thing I can do. But it, eventually I, I do want to have, you know, another one on this shelf. I want to have one on this shelf down here. I want to have another one on the bottom shelf there. That's one, two, three more rigs in here. So um, <clears throat> it is what it is. If I ever got to the point where I had three more rigs in here, I think I could convince the powers that be that having it vertical and having it more, more efficiently built would be the answer. But for now, um, the heat is out of this room. The heat is out of the house. Um, the, the AC isn't running half as much, though we are going into winter, so it's not 
like it's running that much anyway right now. But um, yeah, I finished this just when the summer ended. You know, good good job. Uh, but here we are. So y'all. And thank God it is, I got to tell you, because I have spent a lot of time and a lot of money to get here. Uh, I know that in the end, I've gotten what I've wanted, but at a cost. You know, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know this channel is built on my mistakes and you learning from them. Hopefully in this video, you've learned what not to do and, you know, how to build a successful GPU grow tent. This one that I have is doing Ethereum and Ravencoin in there, but you know, uh, eventually we'll all be over on another coin after Ethereum goes away. For now, it's working well. I don't know if I have several Ravencoin miners in there because they do pump out more heat uh, because they are you know much more power intensive. Will this still work? I don't know. Uh, we'll find out when the time comes. Right now, I've got two rigs in there. After I add a third, we'll see. But for now, this is where I'm at. So uh, I don't have affiliate links. I don't make any money on any of this, but I will have links in the description below to all the parts that I've bought. Maybe you can search for better prices. I think overall the prices I found were uh, competitive and uh, reasonable numbers to buy them at. But if you find better prices, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you do. And maybe you can leave some links below so other people can uh, you know, follow those links to even better prices. But let me know, well, you know, where have you made mistakes? Where have you had success? What have you done different than I've done? Because I would love to know more about it and I would love to be able to talk more with people who have done this grow tent and uh, who have maybe had better success than I have. So anyway, I appreciate you checking in. In the end, I think we got where we wanted to be. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Oh, comments, thumbs up, all those good things. I'll see y'all next time.